Hello everyone and welcome to Moonlight Jewel. My name is Elisa and in today's video I'm going to share with you my top 5 tips to instantly improve your repaint skills. A lot of people always wonder what my secrets of repainting are and today I want to reveal them. To start off we need a vinyl fashion doll of your choice. I will be using this Monster High Venus McFly trap doll. It's the first time for me to repaint a Venus and I'm very excited. First we will be removing her face with pure acetone and give her a nice wash with soap and warm water. I like to use q-tips and cotton pads for cleaning the face and dry it off with a towel after washing. I also get rid of all her hair and remove her head for the repaint. This is how she looks all cleaned up. Now we just need to seal her with MSC and can get started. This leads us to the first tip I want to share with you. Blushing and shading. To instantly give your doll's face more depth it is crucial to contour and blush the face of the doll. I use pastel chalk dust from Mungyo Pastels and dust it on the face with tiny and soft brushes. Sometimes I dust over some micro glitter on the whole face too for some extra sheen. Be careful with how much color of pastel dust you add though, you want it to look soft and not too harsh. I usually add blushing to her cheeks, chin, forehead and nose. After this is done, I'm sealing her again. Now we should wait a couple of minutes for the sealant to dry. For the next step, where we start to sketch out her facial details, I have another important tip I want to share with you. Sharp pencils. After blushing and shading I always start to sketch out her eyes and corners of her mouth. Since Monster High doll heads are really tiny, you want to make sure that your pencils are super sharp all the time. I sharpen mine by very slowly turning them in the pencil sharpener until they are super spiky. I'm replacing my sharpness frequently and always use metal ones. You can also use an X-Acto knife and paper to sharpen your pencils. Scrap off the mine with a knife and then gently rub it on the paper to make them sharp. My favorite pencils for repaints are Polychromos by Faber-Castell and Derwin Intense Watercolor Pencils. I'm also sharing all the colors I used on the stall on the screen if you are interested. I'm going in with a brownish red to sketch out the corners of her mouth and the shape of her eyes first. I also add more blushing to the mouth with pink pastel chalk dust. You can also use a q-tip to blend them in better. Venus has very boldly molded eyes, which made it hard to give her a soft look, so I tried to break the face mold a little. It took me quite a while until I got it right, but I was really happy with the eye shape in the end. I usually sketch out the right eye first and then try to make the left eye as symmetrical as possible. Turning the head upside down and back helps a lot with getting the eye shape right. To keep my hand from shaking too much, I use my pinky as a support on the doll face. Thank you. 
Now that we have finished the first layers, it's time for tip number three. Don't seal when you're not satisfied. It can take a lot of time until you get the shape of the eyes and details on your doll's face right. Never ever do seal though when you're not 100% satisfied. Sometimes I leave my dolls overnight until the next day when I'm not 100% sure if I really, really like it. It is way easier to erase something that is not sealed yet than trying to overpaint your mistakes in the aftermath. Now that we're good of how she looks, we can start to add more colors to her. My tip for that is gouache over acrylic. Acrylic paints are great and very durable. However, once they're dry, it's impossible to get them off again in case you made a mistake. To avoid that, I rather use gouache paints. Gouache paints can be just wiped up with a Q-tip and some water in case you made a mistake. It's so much easier too and a lot less frightening than using acrylics. I use gouache paints for the sclera, the iris, eyelashes and eyeliner. Arteza gouache paints are my favorite ones to use. With tiny brushes I can paint a lot of details. Here I am painting the iris with a pearly blue first and then go in with a darker blue for more depth, creating a soft gradient towards the lighter blue. I dot on some paint for that and then use water to create the gradient. Then I'm painting the sclera white. After that I use black to paint the eyeliner. Go slow and try to draw carefully. For her eyeshadow, I decided to use pink and golden gouache paints. I'm painting her eyelid lines with a dark brown. I also added some silver micro glitter to the outer corners of her eyes for more sparkle. A lot of people also wonder how I am drawing lashes. Basically I'm drawing them like a swoosh, with a single line first and then thicken the bottom of the lash so that they are shaped like little bent triangles. The bottom lashes I usually paint more straight. I also first use a lighter color to draw them and then go in with black. I first draw the lashes with pencils and then go in with a brush. Now she needs some eyebrows. I dust on some pastels for the brows on the face, erase them in shape and then go in with a pencil to paint the single hairs. Now she gets some lashes and we can paint her highlights. I use white gouache paint and a tiny nail art brush. I 
As you can see, I messed up a bit, but that's no problem because you can just use some black pencil to correct the shape of the highlight. I also add some little details to her iris with white. She looks really good so far, we are actually pretty much done. I just need to add some gloss to her lips and waterline with Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. I usually use 2-3 to three layers of gloss to make sure the lips will be super glossy even after drying. I really love how her face turned out and how soft she looks. Now she's ready for some hair and an outfit. And yeah, she's pretty much done, but I saved up the last and most important tip for the end of the video. Take your time. Repainting dolls requires a lot of patience, failure, try and error and especially time. Don't be afraid if you need a few days until you've finished your doll's face. I usually need at least two to three weeks to finish a complete custom doll. I needed for example almost a month to finish my Hatsune Miku doll. Customizing dolls takes a lot of time, but if you dedicate yourself to this hobby it will really show and you will be much more satisfied with what you created in the end. Practice will definitely make you pro. And yeah, that's it. Five tips to improve your repainting skills. I hope this video was helpful to you and I would love to see how much you have improved. Please share your improvement and tag me on Instagram so I can see. I would be very happy about it. And as always, thanks to all of my patrons who support me so much. I really, really appreciate it. Also, if you become my patron right now, you can get access to the Doll Lover Discord where we can chat and share our art and just have a good time and talk about dolls. Also, I made a TikTok account at Moonlight Jewel Dolls, so if you would pop me a follow there, that would be great. Thank you guys so much for watching, see you in the next video and have a beautiful creative day.